Some say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So behold me. <laughs> Today we're all going to make heightened, more perfect versions of ourselves. Today we are all going to become handsome Squidwards. Let's take a look. So we're getting really deep into Unreal Engine because it's a very powerful tool to make virtual productions very quickly. Normally we star in our live action videos and so we want to represent ourselves in these virtual production videos as well. However, we have one advantage here. Since we're controlling everything about what we look like, we're going to perfect our forms. Now we are facing one bottleneck though. It's easy to make environments. It's easy to have an animated camera, but characters require a ton of work. There's texturing, there's modeling, there's sculpting, there's rigging, all sorts of these things that require days, if not weeks per character. I need each step in this process to be as streamlined as possible. Now, last week, the Made a Human project from Unreal Engine, they released a sneak peek for it. It's really, really cool stuff, however, it's not gonna be out for maybe a few more months, if not longer, maybe a year. It's, it's cool, but it's still not a viable option for us to actually generate characters. So today we're going to test out a new path forward to create characters. There's a really cool application called Character Creator 3. These, these guys have been around for a long time, but recently they've taken some pretty huge steps and made everything way more realistic. So we all need to get our hands a little bit dirty because we want to reach our most perfect form. And so today we're all going to make these heightened, more perfect versions of ourselves. And so for that, we turn to the most perfect form, Handsome Squidward. This is this is the this is perfection of the human form. This is this is pure beauty right here. Squidward got hit in the face by SpongeBob on accident. Somehow his face got like nicer and more chiseled. So he's like he forces SpongeBob to bash his face in with the door again. But when he looks at him, he's even more handsome. Like the perfect specimen. He's just the perfect being. He's just amazing, almost like an alien creature. I've never seen something so beautiful. In my deepest darkest moments, when people when people look at me and just like, dude, that guy is so ugly. You know, it's like, you know what? I wish I had something for the, for that person. I wish I could just turn and be like, you know what? And they're just like, oh, oh my God, this is the most beautiful man I've ever seen in my life. There is one film that has attempted to make their most handsome Squidward actor, and that was Prometheus. Look at him, look at how handsome he is. That guy's just, look at his bone structure. Hot. Yeah. He's making me rethink some things. I mean, if I could just be milky white with no hair, with enormous, the highest cheekbones you've ever seen, I, I would sign up for that program in a day. What if I told you there was that program? Oh, there, oh, there is. Right now, I just want to walk you guys through, like, here's the general order of operations. It's a really easy application to use. There's a button up here that says morph. You click it, it allows you to select parts of the body and, you know, mess with it. Oh my god. So, so there's also like full body morphs as well too. So we can turn them into a lady really quickly. But then we can also turn them into a more buff dude. And we can turn them into a freaking Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, no, I want to see that dude. This, I, want to, I want to see a buff slacker. <laughs> so, and then, are, you want to go see the max buffness? <laughs> <laughs> so buff. They have a matching buff head. <laughs> These, the morphs are pretty sweet. They're very powerful. They allow you to get really fast results. We can apply the Herculean texture to this, which starts to make it look a little more realistic. Let's oh my God. characters. Whoa. But we can take that further here. You can take a baby skin texture and put him on the buff guy. Oh my God, do it. Baby skin on buff man. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 <laughs> You're telling crazy. me we can motion capture this guy with facial capture oh. in Unreal and bring him to life in full ray trace beauty? Yes, like oh. if we can bring him to life, they'll be walking, talking. Oh, wow. Peter, I'm gonna take a photo of you. Three, two, one. Jeez. All right. Wait, like, do you put that photo into the program and it generates your face based off the photo? Oh, there it is. What the fuck? Oh. Not that bad, actually. It's definitely like the huh. video game version of you. That's still the same facial yeah, structure. It's not perfect, but it gets you pretty close with like trying to make a, a person or recreate them. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna like stand in a circle and then we pick the person on our right and we're all going to take a photo of them. Nice, flat, neutral photo. 
okay. and we will attempt to recreate the other person or make them much better. We all got at least a sprinkle of body dysmorphia, so the only way we can really get a, a true picture of our truest, perfect selves is if somebody else does it. I have Clint. Clint, I hope I capture your likeness and make it even better. Sam, as soon as I capture your likeness, I'm going to turn you into a Neanderthal and send a picture to Sarah. I'm doing Peter. Uh, everyone says Peter's perfect, but I think there's room for improvement. <laughs> I got freaking Nico and I'm going to make him handsome. <laughs> There's a checkbox that says select if subject is a baby. So I was like, Sam's a big baby. <laughs> like, That's a big old man baby. Oh, <laughs> that baby is ripped. Yeah, he's shredded baby. <laughs> that baby was using the umbilical cord as like a tension cable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I got digital Peter. It's all right. It's like it. I, I mean, it, certainly it resembles him. I noticed he was actually sunburned. So I found sunburn layers <laughs> that I just put in there to just give them a little bit extra like discoloration and unevenness. So I look at it, it's like, it's close, but like this is where it just gets to the whole like artistry element of like, how well can you recreate someone's face? How, how do you pick up the details? I'm trying to match the profile right now. You know, cause it does, you feed it the front on image, which it does pretty well, but it doesn't have any data of the side of the head. So I'm going in and manually tweaking the shape of Nico's profile to match him. I'm trying to get a bit more realistic before we dive into the crazy stuff. Clint's ears are really high up. Most people's ears here, Sam, look at me. Yeah, he still follows the normal routine. Most people's ears line up with the bottom of their nose. I literally had the slider all the way max and still not quite enough to get his ear. <laughs> Is your reference, Sam? <laughs> That's a great reference. Heavily influenced by the Primtech video. <laughs> Is that the baby from Spirited Away? <laughs> That's really good. Hell yeah. Do you want to see Peter? It's like... It's Peter-like. He kind of looks like Gary Oldman. You're right. Peter is a young Gary Oldman, but instead of getting into acting, he got into Blender. All right, so I got Nico pretty close. I feel like Nico looks great in a nice pair of overalls. <laughs> this is a weird conversation to be having uh, at work. <laughs> to push this to the next level, what, what should we do? What should we enlarge, stretch, shrink? That's actually not bad. I can tell it's Sam. <laughs> Dude, put some pants on that! He had pants! He had pants! There's a million sliders for me to go through. But as far as like, alright, someone in the office will see this and they'll go like, oh that's Peter. I think we've gotten that far. But That's really impressive. It resembles him. Yeah, that's Peter. 100%. His hair is too brown or whatever. Yeah. Maybe I'll do a little more tweaking and then I will perfect him. He's getting handsomer every second. Alright, I'm gonna make him look exactly like Handsome Squidward. The key to handsome Squidward, his, his face is swollen from hitting things. Puffy lips, puffy eyes, puffy cheeks. Excellent. Oh! <laughs> A word making Nico beautiful. <laughs> you look like Joker. You know, big eyes are attractive. So I thought, why not impart Nico with these beautiful, big, bulbous eyes? You got it. <laughs> you got it, dude. I need like... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sam had some work done. <laughs> this is just straight up a caricature of Clinton now. You don't have to go too far. Though there is, I think, a key element here, which is that bottom lip and that top lip. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it right there. It's important that I be uh, nuanced in <laughs> my approach. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> See that pose? Look at him. Look at that. Like, that's what I want. I want this, the, the grace of a ballerina. I need more abs. Oh, wait. No, no, no. It's the skin. It's all on the skin. Oh, my. Oh, my God. That's it. You did it. <laughs> I think that's, that's it. it. No, I think it's perfect, dude. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. It's freaking Adrian Brody. So Handsome Squidward is not just a big buff dude. He's like very clearly skipped leg day. Okay, this is giving me inspiration for mine. <laughs> I feel like I went way too crazy off the bat and I need to tweak a lot more things a lot slower as opposed to just going ham on a few select features. Handsome Peter. <laughs> <laughs> look though, look, look, look. He's handsome. You see what I see, he's so handsome. <laughs> Oh, by the way, he's also like four feet tall. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to tell right now. But... I think I got it dialed in. I don't think I'm going to push it any further here. I'm ready for uh, the big lights. 
I've reassessed and I've come back at it with a new mindset. Now I feel like I still have the essence of Nico in here, but it's more beautified and handsome Squidwarded. I virtually rubbed yeah. Nico down with baby oil. I think I got something great. Nico is going to be truly beautiful. I mean, Nico's a good looking guy, but I don't know if he's beautiful, beautiful. Not like handsome Squidward. So this is Sam in his final form. I thought giving him some long flowing Fabio style hair was totally fitting. He kept the jeans because they were sentimental for him and so were the boots. I think it really brings out his abs. All right, so my perfect Sam is done. I'm gonna send it over to him and hopefully Peter's motion capture performance can live up to the beauty that this render exudes. All right, so everyone made their models. So today is the special day where we bring everything to life. We're gonna throw a mocap suit on here. We got some gloves. We even have a head mount, which we can use phones to track our face. We're going to capture the likeness of the man before and the likeness of the new man after. I have a newfound respect for Clint for wearing this thing all day in the desert because it is so tight. Thankfully, okay. they give us modesty shorts so you can get around the curvatures that you want to keep modest. Oh. Gotta get nice and stretched, dude. Don't wanna, you know, smash any ACLs on the field. Oh, baby. Hey. You look stupid. <laughs> I look like freaking Nigel from the Thornberries. <laughs> what characteristics does my beautiful self have? Uh, big muscles, a handsome face, very shiny. <laughs> very shiny. All right, Peter, get ready to show off your new body, okay? Ready? And action. Happy dance, happy dance. Where's that music? <laughs> Everything crashed. Everything just crashed and we lost all our data. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it never goes smoothly. <sighs> Unsaved project data found. <laughs> yeah. Nico needs to be tough guy. You're like a robot. You are a perfect automaton. You're so jacked up on steroids that you might break someone's neck. I wasn't feeling that one. My inner spirit was being captured right there. Oh, this one's going to be you. This one's going to be me now. What do you feel like? I feel naughty. We could try naughty. I could do naughty. Let's do naughty. <laughs> naughty. Make me proud, Peter. You know, I did feel very naughty when I was doing that. <laughs> Let's call it quits. All right. Okay. Sounds good. You said you'd never work with me again after Avatar 2. I appreciate you coming back for one last stripper job. This was really fun. I'd, I'd be happy to do this anytime. All right, so all we got to do now is I need to go through everyone's files, export models of the characters. The one plus of using iClone right now is it makes it so I can take this mocap data and swap any body model in there, even if it's bigger or smaller, anything, because it's magic. Making it sound really easy. Hopefully, it is. <laughs> so I built out this game environment based on the Krusty Krab. I basically what I went through is I deleted all the lighting and I rebuilt all the lighting with ray trace lighting. And I built a fancy stage truss system. They have this truss system, these Hollywood lights. So if I hit play here, you'll notice the whole environment kicks into gear and things start moving around. All right, so everything's placed. We got all the animations finally in. A lot of lessons were learned, again, on this project. A big lesson is it's incredibly hard to get all the motion capture software to play nice together. What, that's like five, six systems, basically all running in tandem. And, you know, it's all great software when used individually. The moment you start piecing them together, when one thing goes wrong and the whole thing falls apart and it's slogged through it, we got it all working here. It's definitely better than Avatar 2.
So this is still just the beginning of our exploration into virtual production for Unreal Engine. And this is all building towards future ideas for Corridor videos and also a project called Local Zero that's on CorridorDigital.com. It's already been greenlit. If you haven't checked out our site yet, please do. It's got everything you see on YouTube except there, ad free, as well as other exclusives like our vlog and a bunch of other cool upcoming shows like our D&D show and functional filmmaking where we kind of uh, bring you guys through some really cool conceptual tutorials and teach you about what we do here. Also, as a member of CorridorDigital.com, we're giving discounts on all merchandise as well. So it's a great deal. So all the camera angles are in. Aside from all the technical improvements we'll eventually make to this workflow, from a standpoint of creating handsome Squidwards out of ourselves, I think we definitely succeeded. Okay, it's time to watch it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to live in this form after seeing my perfect self. The reason I never made it in Hollywood is because I don't got the looks, but now with Unreal Engine, I do. Oh. Oh. So you guys are going to see a little fashion show, if you will. So, uh -oh. I'm so ready. I'm just ready to see Sam's. <laughs> Hi, you might remember me as Handsome Squidward. Now before us, we have four young gentlemen with one common problem. With those faces, there's no way they're gonna be able to cut it in Hollywood. But we have a solution. With a simple slamming of a door to their face, we can chisel away all the unnecessary fat and bone and create the most handsome versions of themselves. Let's take a look. Is that Peter Pan? <laughs> Your shoulders, dude! It's so wide. Is that hair or skin? <laughs> oh my god, the bone structure. Look at that outfit. I'm like, I'm like, like, Charlie, I'm like Charlie Brown. I mean, that's what Squidward's wearing. <laughs> but they're like skinny at the same time. Like skinny but muscular. <laughs> face and the door slams and then he's gone and then Where'd you like look go? way down and there he is it was honestly amazing 
I loved the anger. I loved the passion. And I remember when he was doing that exact mocap for Miko, because I was just making a bagel, and then he comes out flipping everyone off in the kitchen. <laughs> something about Nico is just gives him like dead eyes. It makes him look like a titan or something like that. It's just so good. The poses you do are really spot on, actually. Like it's you so hit some bad. really good poses, <laughs> like that. <laughs> You did a really good job on Nico's face. Yeah. yeah. I, oh, oh that yeah, thank you. Looks like Nico, yeah. <laughs> I think it, does, it definitely looks it like Nico. Looks like the actual characters, when you see them up close, look really, really good. It's just right now, I think the like the overall animation needs to like kind of lock in a little bit better for it to feel a little smoother and organic. It's, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Dude, Micro Peter is, oh my god, I, I could only wish to live up to that, man. My shoulders were very bulbous. <laughs> Which is a good thing. And you chose op an opera dance for me, too. Yeah, that was fully Sam's directing. You gotta thank him for that. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, that was very yeah. good. You know, two or three years from now, when it's time for a little touch-up on this, I'll just take this picture to the doctor and be like, make it happen. Yeah, I mean, you'll see these in the uh, next quarter video, uh, as we act as ourselves. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to Corridor Crew.